welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a lofted body. Actually in this video I will show you how to use lofted boss command. Actually I will show you in this video in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start this video. First select new select a part and then go ok ok select this dimension mmgs millimeter and plane white go to setting document properties and select image quality high ok now then go ok So select top plane and go to sketch. Now select a line here to here. Select OK. Press right button and drag this. OK select. Again press right button and drag left. ok now I have to use relation this line this line and this line make equal ok this three line are equal now so smart dimension 100 millimeter select keep this dimension ok this line and this line between angle 130 degree and another this line and this line angle 115 degree ok this is fully defined now ok now exit this case ok I have to need another uh, 3 point arc select this point and third select here and now go to smart dimension ok 160 radius ok select ok now this line make construction geometry this line make construction geometry and this line make construction geometry ok now go to exit this is case ok now select a point and go to reference geometry select plane first plane this point ok reference first reference this point and second reference this line ok this line and plane perpendicular now ok so so ok ok our plane is great now it skates this plane normal to ok select a line and smart dimension keep this dimension Okay, 135 millimeter. Keep this dimension. Make relation this point and this origin point. Make coincident. Okay. Now select three point arc again. Select this point, this point, and select another point. Okay. Now I have to need a smart dimension again. So keep this radius. select 75 millimeter 70 or 75 millimeter ok 70 millimeter so go ok now exit this case ok first exit this case and hide this plane ok 
you can click here at this point and go to reference geometry and select plane this first reference and second reference second reference this line or structural line okay this uh, line and this plane perpendicular okay select okay okay now go to normal to and here select a corner rectangle okay select this rectangle and now go expand dimension keep this dimension 75 mm and this side 55 mm Fifty five now forty five millimeter. Okay, select this center point and this point make a relation make coincident. Okay. Select this line, press control on this, then select another point. Okay, exit skirts, hide skirts. Okay. Now you have to go feature and loaded was command. Okay, select profile. Select first profile and select second profile. Okay, show preview. Okay, now select this path guided curve. Okay, select this guided curve, then go okay. Okay, our first loaded body is complete now. Now again go to top plane. Uh, normal to okay show previous skirts and click construction line yes construction line okay Again, select a three point arc. This middle point and this point, okay, three point arc create. So keep this dimension radius. Okay, two hundred millimeter. Again, select construction line. This point and this point. Okay, select. Did this line? Okay. Now go smart dimension. This line and this line between angle one on five mm, one on five degree. Okay. Select okay. Okay. Exit is case. Now we'll create second loaded body. So click here, this point, and go to reference geometry and plane. And first reference this point, and second reference this line. Select. Okay, this line and plane perpendicular. Okay, select. Okay. Okay, select this plane three and go to skirts. Now go to normal two. Okay, select a line. Okay, smart dimension. Keep this dimension hundred millimeter. Select this center point, this center point, and this center point, and make relation, make coincident. Okay. Now select three point arc. First click here and second click here and third anywhere. Okay. Okay, our third plane is case is complete. Exit is case and hide this plane. Okay, now go to feature and lock it. Boss command. So first select. This profile. Okay, second select this profile. 
okay show this okay now select guided curve click here and select this guided curve select okay select okay first reference body second reference body and this guided curve okay now go to okay so lofted body second lofted body is complete okay now i have to go again a plane reference plane top plane short top plane and keep this distance 100 mm okay go okay okay now plane 4 and skirts normal to now select a rectangle center rectangle okay select this and click here okay now go to dimension smart dimension this line okay 55 and this line 55 same okay select okay select this center point and select this origin point make this relation vertical okay again go to smart dimension okay smart dimension this point and this point this point this point distance 25 mm okay now our sketch is fully defined okay exit this sketch um before exit i'll select fillet and this four corner point select fillet 10 mm radius select okay okay now okay and exit this sketch okay hide this plane okay now i have to use extrude boss command feature and go to extrude boss select this profile okay select now flip this direction reverse okay reverse now select up to body okay select this body okay and here i have to use draft select draft no inner side outer side okay draft outer side this angle 5 degree okay select okay okay all of it body is totally complete now now i have to use shell command before using shell command i have to use again fillet command to remove this surface okay select this radius okay removing this surface select fillet command and this radius 25 mm select and go okay okay again i have to use fillet command here select fillet automatically select this and radius same 25 mm go okay okay now we have to again use fillet command select this line automatically select total area of fillet okay show preview select okay okay our fillet is complete now now we have to use shell command shell thickness 1.5 mm okay select face first face second face third face and fourth face okay now go to okay 
Okay, now our shell is complete. Shelling thickness 1.5 millimeter. Okay, our body is complete. Now we have to use some appearance. Selective material. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more updates.